akio no tata a tena koto me o tata tini ai tu ko e ha ti kitpo ko me hia ko tangi hia tata tu ngora tena koto a kanu ti me hia ko I'd like to acknowledge the graduates and their families about to receive their degrees. I've heard it said that you can lead a student to the university, but you can't make them think. I have to say that I was one of those that was led to the university, and I'm aware of the special effort that it takes in order to reach uh, this point. So congratulations for your achievements. The person that led me to Victoria University in the 1980s was Professor Hidney Mokomi. Having been trained in Māori carving, the inducement was that I would be able to, to lead a team that would carve the meeting house for the new University Marae. As Hidney pointed out, the opportunity to also pursue an academic career was also there. Well, the new Marae turned out to be a house at 36 Kelvin Parade. There was a shed at the back of 36 KP, as came to be known, and it was there that we initiated the carvings that are now part of the existing Te Ringawaka Marae. Professor Mead's leadership, clarity of vision and determination for the establishment of a marae on campus was enhanced at the time by other Māori leaders working in the university. These included Tarangia Huta Ruka Broughton and Widamu Parker. Those years of struggle establishing the marae were saddened by the loss of Widamu and Ruka, who both passed away before the current meeting house was opened. Their legacy is recalled in the artwork on the flagpole at the marae. My academic journey was influenced by those two Māori leaders and along with uh, Bernie Kerno, Hidini and others, I was then equipped uh, with the tools to proceed uh, into a doctorate. At my first graduation as a student, it was decided that a Māori ritual ought to be included for the, for the Māori students. If the French rugby team consider an all-black haka a powerful experience, then I would suggest that they might consider a karakia delivered by Tuhoe Tohunga, Professor Po Temara. Po also conducted the ceremonies for the new gateway at Te Ringawaka Marae. I have heard from different sources that Te Ringawaka Marae today is a marae of national significance with a growing reputation internationally as a model for indigenous education and cross-cultural understanding. I am not surprised by these remarks given its rich history in such a short time. However, there are two fundamental reasons why these comments uh, keep reoccurring. Firstly, the depth of expertise and thorough grounding in Māori knowledge that exists with the staff at the marae and also Te Kawa Māori. And secondly, the leadership of Victoria University that provides the support and foundations that create the conditions for this expertise to flourish. So I would like to acknowledge you, Chancellor, uh, Deputy Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor and Pro-Vice-Chancellor, Council members and others of the university leadership for their support and commitment to Māori education. 
and the recognition of the validity of Māori knowledge as living and vital for Māori people. I am aware that your support and commitment extends to Te Reo Māori, which has a living language among a burgeoning youth population is currently precariously positioned. I would like to say that when I first learnt carving, my grandmother quite often referred to me as a tohunga. However, at school, at the school I attended, I was informed that a tohunga was a Māori uh, witch doctor. I had no desire to be a witch doctor, so I decided to try and become a master carver, which seemed to me a better title than a witch doctor. I was later told that to be a master carver, I would have to be able to carve a meeting house. When I got to the university, I found out that uh, a master carver ought to be able to carve a meeting house, a fully carved canoe, a storehouse, and so on and so on. By the time I completed my, uh, my honours, I, I found out that a, a master carver didn't really exist at all <laughs> and was a, a 19th century colonial construct derived from the master painters of Europe. <laughs> at that stage, I thought I'd better stick with the, the ideas of my grandparents and try to become a tohunga. <laughs> However, Having completed my PhD through the University of Auckland and now being honoured with an additional doctorate, I'm re reconsidering the significance of the title witch doctor. <laughs> there are a number of tūnga who shaped and influenced my views about Māori knowledge and art. First and foremost was my grandmother, Te Paia Itarangi, a weaver from Ngāti Kahungunu. Ayo Tuaturo, who was actually from Rarotunga, but had been adopted to the Rotorua Arts and Crafts Institute by his people at the request of Sir Apidana Ngata, uh, and also Kakaniao of Tuteko. They were very influ influential to my own uh, thinking about uh, Māori knowledge and whakaero. The mentorship of Hidini Moko Mead provided me the background to work and acquire skills and knowledge from these uh, last two tōhunga. In later years, I had the opportunity to meet Hikinukumai Busby, a tōhunga tārai waka, a master canoe builder and navigator, and we collaborated on many canoe projects, both here in Aotearoa and overseas. Hector's generosity with knowledge about canoe building and a willingness to, to share knowledge, in my view, is second to none. So throughout my, uh, my career, I've had the opportunity to be involved with many projects um, overseas. While undertaking an art residency at Evergreen State College, I had the opportunity to carve a waka tūporo as a gift uh, for the college, and the following year, a second canoe, a waka tete, was made for the Tacoma Maritime Museum. Uh, the year following that, both canoes were joined together, and along with 100 Native American canoes, a Māori canoe from Aotearoa participated in the event canoe journeys. The rousing reception and hospitality celebrating the arrival of the Māori canoe at the host tribe at that event was quite a unique experience and something that will remain with me uh, for a lifetime. So, I've had many experiences, and they've been wonderful. And so once again, I'd like to congratulate the graduates and your families. And I hope you, that your journeys are as interesting as mine.
e hara te toa i te toa takitahi, engari he toa takitini. My accomplishments have never been a solitary feat. On the contrary, they have been the accomplishments of many. So thank you very much. Kia ora nō tātou. Tēnei te mihi kia kūta. Tēnā kūta.